Now let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, in a not too distant past, a game company called Motorsport Games uh, announced a BTCC game. This made the fans very happy. But one fan was most excited of them all. <laughs> Darren Box was so excited that he even broke a office chair <laughs> in excitement. Yes, yeah, the first and only time I've done that, yes. <laughs> in excitement. And there was rejoice through the land. But in the in our year of twenty twenty one, there's a strange thing that's coming to coming to Darren Box. And that thing is worry. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Hello, and <welcome. laughs> Hello and welcome to another video from X and VR. The talky ones that you'd like to listen to where we talk mainly about games and sometimes a load of shite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mostly a load of shite. <laughs> I'm the uh, the right honourable Matthew Clarence, uh, Mayor of Flantley, and I've been joined by the unbelievably worried Darren Box. <laughs> How you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you, man. I'm coffeeed up. I'm I'm comfortable. Um, I'm good to go. I'm good to rumble this one off. And worried. And worried. I'm worried. You're profoundly worried. I'm profoundly worried. Let's, let's bounce, because I have a lot that I have to say. So, so, come with us, and let's see what's making Darren so worried of the, the, the upcoming BTCC game. Right, Darren Box, you're out about BTCC. Why are you worried? Well, strap yourself in. There's going to be about 50 minutes of me just talking utter drivel at you. Um, so, as everyone and their cats knows, that I absolutely love the British touring cars. It's, in my opinion, the greatest um, tour, touring car series, racing series, just because of how close it is, how different elements just make it such close and interesting racing. Um, I can't remember the last time there wasn't a race, uh, sorry, a championship that was decided on the last race. It's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant series. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Um, a bit of background, I suppose, if you've not heard of BTCC, which has a British touring cars. Um, they used to have the old Tocker games on PlayStation 1. So Tocker 1, Tocker 2, then changed into Tocker Race Driver, I think. Then Tocker 3, I think. That... Ooh, now I'm saying that out loud, that might be the now order. Now Grid, the Grid series that you know and probably bored of when <laughs> Grid 3 came out. It's, a, it's not known love, it's now you know and tolerate. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's the original Tocker, Tocker Touring Cars, that's British Touring Cars. And then they're making a new one, it's coming back. Rejoice. I have concerns. Which Basically. are? Number one. The AI worries me. Right. The reason for this, the reason I'm behind this, is tour if you've ever watched touring cars on the TV, it's the most, obviously it's the most dynamic racing because, you know, it's real life racing, of course. But it's not, let's use Formula One as an example. It's not quite as predictable. Um, you can go into a yeah, Formula but... One season and put in a good bet on who's going to be up the front easily. Yeah. Touring cars, you, you simply can't do that. It's e no. Each meeting, each race meeting has three races. The first race is, if, if you're doing grid, grid sort of setup, whoever's first in qualifying, that is who how you race in race one. Race two is how race one finishes, but there's ballast on board. Ballast makes the car heavier, um, and in turn slower, obviously. Th race three is settled by uh, it's random between the top uh, twelve, so they'll have like a like a ball picked out of a number out of a, like a, out of a bag. If say for example you're a driver that's got the number ten ball and a ball, number ten ball gets pulled out, you get moved up to up to pole position. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Good. That worries me with when it comes to the game. Because of the unpredictability of touring cars, the AI has to be absolutely on fire. You have to have, you know, drivers going side by side through corners. You have to have 
drivers, you know, making lunges, late breaks, barging people out the way. And I worry that that's not going to happen. Okay. The reason for this is if you use two examples, you use NASCAR Heat as an example, because that is made by uh, motorsport games who are making the British Touring Car game. The AI is good, but it is quite wooden. It's, it feels a little bit strict path. Aww. The fact that they'll follow in a line and they won't make many attempts to try and overtake each other. If you use Formula One as an example, um, the AI again is very rigid. You could easily see these cars driving in a straight line behind each other and not really attempt to get past each other. Not really. There'll be a few attempts, but there's not many. With touring cars, it has to be there. The AI has to be right. It, it, it worries me because I just feel like you'd, you'd jump into it and you'd win every single race. Which that's not what touring cars is. You'd be you you'd be hard pushed in a thirty race season to win three four races. Yeah, that's usually the norm in touring cars because I don't think I can remember anyone getting even like double figure wins in a season. No, it's like if you you used oh, some examples straight off my head um, in the. 2016 season um, going into the last race Colin Turkington won four races out of the 30 and he didn't win the championship um, Sam Tordoff same season won two races and he was going into the last race as a possible champion because he kept on banking points you can get like um, what season was it 2019 possibly where Colin Turkington won the won the championship didn't win a race all season. Um, and that's because you're banking points. You, you, you're not, they're not flying past people. They're banking points and having good battles. You want to have good battles of people down, you know, in 15th for the last point. Because, you know, it's necessary to that battle. Hmm. And the AI is just the biggest concern for me. Because if it's wooden and if it's stiff, and if you're able to win every single race that's not doing a good enough job so what you're saying it needs to be unpredictable yeah it needs to be unpredictable and the AI have to be as near a touring car driver as you can it needs to be unpredictable it needs to make risks um, it needs to you know just be unexpected you know being able to go into a corner and then thinking you've got it saved, and then you look right, and there's, oh, shit, there's AI Jason Plato, he's dive-bombing me. Uh, it, in, you know, like... Basically, it needs to be very Andy Neat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to have those people that are going to make those risks. That does move on to my second point. If Because I'm a, there's been very little details on this game so far, but there's need to have characteristics so my examples are like say if they're gonna have it based on last season as an example top of my head they need to have the drive have certain drivers have certain characteristics okay so yeah. colin turkington is probably one of the cleanest drivers that you can you can see he he's quick and out of corners he doesn't tend to get into too many battles eh, depending on which touring car driver you ask really um but he tends to keep his nose out. Jason Plato, for example, tends to be a bit more elbows out um, and a bit more... He, when it comes to defensive, he knows exactly where to park the car on the apex. That he knows just where to stop the car in order to stop you yeah. getting past. Yeah. Another example, um, Gordon Shedden knows exactly... If you're going to dive bomb, he knows exactly where to put the car on, on the braking zone just to stop stop that little move from happening these are very different small tweaks that the AI has to have now I'm, I'm obviously I have to add a little bit of realism you know, to it, I imagine that would be quite difficult to input to an extent but what's stopping people from having stat boosts again as another example Ash Sutton, 
he's very, very good in the wet. So if you've got a race in the wet, why not boost his stats to make Ash Sutton a beast? He's already a beast. If you, I was about to say, if you're listening, I'm, I'll tag him in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, why not make something like that? You know, the just changes the dynamic again. Yeah, I think I think I do remember like sort of like the F1 games do have this sort of thing. So like, so like um, drivers like Versta- like particularly like Verstappen or Hamilton are quite strong in the wet, so they'll be towards the front. Um, and, and I think it, and and I do think in t- yeah, F1 2020 they do have like st- stats, which. So what you're saying, it needs something in that vein, but possibly a bit more. So like yeah, like say like um, Turkin quite clean um, uh, Plato you know k- gets his elbows out and such as then neat is just the wild card shall we say um, yeah like something that's just that if you were going to like say for example if you start a race at last because you know something's happened um, and you go to try and overtake someone and you see a name on the back of the car you know what you're going to what type of battle you're going to have with that car. You don't want to be able to just fly past everyone. You don't want to get in the back of a train where there's, let's say, for example, um, Jake Hill, uh, Jack Goff. Let's say you're trying to overtake both of them. You don't want to just be able to just break later and then just fly past them. You want to have a little bit of a mental battle knowing that, you know, Jack Goff might try and block you on the on the braking line. You know, just because the, you know he wants to defend a little bit harder, you don't. You just want it to be a bit more AI dynamic, and that just it does worry me to an extent because I'm just so far I just haven't really seen it happen, and it's one of the biggest things with touring cars. Touring cars is attractive as it is because it is elbows out rubbing his racing. Mm. Yes. Yes. So basically. So the AI needs to be spot on and also have its own ca- certain characteristics for its drivers. Yeah. So what? So what's next on your worry list? Next on my my worry list, which is a hideous sentence, um, is more unpredictability. Okay. Um, what I would say is obviously it would be incredibly annoying if you had a car that just blew up constantly, but with yeah. saying that, a little bit of unpredictability would be great. Say, for example, if, you know, in the real world of touring cars, um, a name plopped out of my head, let's say Plato again. Um, say if he's had a, a race, in, in race one of the day, he's had an issue, he had an engine problem, he's had, a, he's had a hit with someone, he has to go in the pits and stuff in the back. That sets the form for the entire rest of that meeting, race two and race three for that meeting. Because he'll start from the back, and then depending on how he does in race two, it will kind of depend how he starts in race three. And there needs to be that kind of unpredictability when the game comes. So, say for example, you know you've made a you've made a racer. I don't know how the story's going to go. I'm assuming that. Um, and say I've tangled with someone, um, and then my my car starts to crab. You know the the rear suspension's broken. I've got to jump into the pits. I've got to get it repaired. I'm a few laps behind. Finish the race anyway. And that sets the precedent for the next few races. That kind of unpredictability will just make it just that little bit of extra spice. And which I just feel like it, it needs it. Like it really just just you don't want to go into every single race knowing what you're gonna knowing what's gonna happen. You don't want to jump into a race going, This is gonna be dull, I'm just gonna run away, I'm gonna win by fifteen seconds, because that does not happen. Yeah, but, but yeah, that rarely happens. But the next on my list is the cars have to feel different. So, again, those who don't really follow the touring cars, there's real wheel drive and there's front wheel drive. Both cars will drive differently. Yeah. Using a addition to that, Isn't each car- Isn't there like all wheel drive? No, not that I'm aware of, no. Oh, um, okay, so. But each, each, okay. each car will have ballast in it. In the real world, yeah. which I hope that is bring forward in the game. Now, what I want to see in the in the game is 
to make the ballast make the car feel completely different because it adds weight to the car that'll make the car heavier make it harder to slow down harder to speed up heavier in the corners so say for example if you run race one race one you don't want to jump into race two and repeat the same thing and run away by like 20 seconds you want to finish race one win it go into race two and be like right i'm gonna to have to go for a different mindset now um you know this car's gonna be heavier i've got to, i'm gonna have a few cars behind me that are lighter who are gonna try and dive and try to take past me you want every race to present itself as unique little challenges See, See, that's just you kind want of to basically go to each race having to go for diff different tacks. So, like race one, okay, I go for the win. Race two, maybe a good points finish. Yeah, you want to have each because, say, for example, I'm assuming that that's how the, the game is going to present itself. Like, I'll be weird, I'll be surprised if it doesn't. So, there needs to be a unique challenge at every race. So, yeah, like you said, race one, go for the win. Race two, damage control. You know, get as many points as you can. You can't be heavier, so you'll be overtaken a lot more. Um, and then race three can be, you know, you you it's pretty much random. So that can be, you know, a random, a random set of could, random could set challenges. Go for a win or, okay, get try and get in the points. Yeah, yeah. And I guess my final point would be, it's a long, a lot of to do with the air, I suppose. But there needs to be a dynamic safety car system. Um, the safety car, uh, real life, is brought out. Say, for example, if a car, you know, is off the track, in a dangerous position. So let's say, as an example, you're bombing round um, druids at Browns Hatch. Someone up the inside has binned it. They've spun the car. They're off the track. Now, if that car is in a dangerous position, the safety car will come out. That needs to be that kind of dynamic AI system in the touring car game. If it's not a dynamic safety car, it's, it's not doing its job properly. There needs to be, again, that kind of unpredictability of it. Of, say, for example, you're battling with someone. You've noticed, I don't know, Martin Depper off the track. Um, you There needs to be the, oh, safety car's coming out now. It's suddenly being rushed out. It needs to basically... In the best way terms, think of it the opposite of Formula 1. Because the Formula 1 safety car in F1 2020 is shit. It is shit. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it, it needs to be the opposite of that. Because in Formula 1, to bring out the safety car, you have to pretty much drive into someone, park on the apex, have everyone park behind you, and then it goes, oh yeah, shit, safety car. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Like... Yeah, I will admit, yeah, like, in the F1 games, like, the safety car is... You you would have to literally kill someone for it to come out. Yeah, and even then, it's virtual safety car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it has to be dynamic. It has to be within half a lap as well of you see there's a car off the track and then you get through on the radio, safety car's out. It has to be that quickly. Um... There is ways that that can be implemented, like say, for example, if it's is if it's deemed what part of, you know, a part of a track that could be a danger zone, so like a gravel trap. If a car is stopped there for a series amount of time for five, ten seconds, that could trigger. Mm. I'm aware that implementing something in the video game world, trying to implement implement something in the real world, has its challenges. I'm aware of that, but there has to be the unpredictability, and that. In conclusion, what worries me about the touring car game? Yeah, and actually, uh, and I'm actually going to throw something into the ring here. Ooh, face turn. Ooh. It's, um, and you'll probably agree that it, it would need to have a dynamic weather system. Yes, absolutely, yes. The reasoning behind this um, is that touring cars don't have a mandatory pit stop. So, let's use, as an example, one of the best races, real-life races, that me and you have ever watched. Race 2, Brands Hatch 2018. Where Indy. The Indy track, where, the ra where it just rained, and then it was drying up, and half the cars went on dries, and half the car went on wet tyres. 
and midway through the race, well, the race started, and all the wet wet tires, you know, started, and they ran away, and all the dry tires, the car tires, went to the back. Midway through the race, it changed, and all the dry tires just went through and started flying past, and the race was won. Oh, I'll see if I can pluck this out of the sky. Um, oh, I can't remember who won it. No, I'm Senna. I believe. Senna Proctor. Not, not Ayrton. Senna Proctor. Not Ayrton. <laughs> not Ayrton. I think Senna Proctor from twenty eighth Pro- to first because of how yeah. unpredictable the weather was. So being yeah. able to make those choices, going it was raining. Here's the temperature. Here's the the weather. What do you think? You know. That would be making making those kind of calls and making those kind of things again would add to the unpredictability of it, mm. and also having the rain. Yeah, rain's good. Yeah, rain's good. <laughs> if you don't have rain, then obviously making us sort of rain and the beast, uh, sort of beast in the rain, even um, it just you know makes it pointless. So to to kind of try and wrap this up neatly into a nice worry basket. Um, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, so basically, the AI needs to be quite dynamic. Mm. It needs to have its ca- the characteristics from real life touring car drivers. Mm. Um, uh, the so it needs to have a dynamic safety car system and 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 more realist and a realistic car weight feel system and weather and weather. Know, weather and weather. Again, I'm fully aware that a lot of this is difficult, you know, could be difficult to implement, but it also could be very easy. Like, the weight of the car, like, why can't that just feel more more heavy, you know? So, yeah. Feel yeah, like a big fat bastard. Exactly. Make it feel like a big VW barge. But we'll conclude it there, because I've spoken about touring cars for 25 minutes, but obviously I'm very <laughs> passionate about it. So, if, if anyone wants yeah. me as a consultant, my fees are very reasonable. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Darren Box, worry consultant. <laughs> worry ward. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll conclude that there. But I'm sure I'll come up with more stuff in the future yep. of things yeah. that I've forgotten about. But <laughs> that's the next video. <laughs> <sighs> well, th- things I've forgotten about about the BCCC games. <laughs> <laughs> it will be called. Oh yeah, another one. Um, <laughs> But no, thanks for this little therapy session for everyone that's jumped in. Um, Give us a share, give us a like. If you've got any issues or any worries about the upcoming game or any thoughts about the upcoming game, let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, I'd love to argue with it. Um, And worry about it. And worry about it. But no, um, I've enjoyed this, Matt. Thank you for your your time, Mr. Therapy Man. Yeah, pleasure. I can add (laughs) that to the string of things that go Mara Fluntley and also... Certified therapist. Certified therapy. Anyway, thank you all, and we will see you in the next one. I'm going to go for a lie down.